Hello YouTube, welcome to Mrs. Koi Style. My name is Kawana. I thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where I speak about style. I do some hauls, some reviews, and every now and again, I sprinkle in a little bit of luxury. So if that is something that interests you, I certainly hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell notification so that you never ever miss a video. As you will see from the rack behind me, I am doing a haul today. Not just any haul, but a Christopher John Rogers for Target haul. How did this happen? Hmm, stay tuned. It's gonna be story time. So I was on the phone last night talking to my girl, Angela, who told me, Kawana, you know, step out of your comfort zone a little bit. Like you, you definitely have your own style and that's great, but it would be wonderful to see you wear things with like more ruffles or just flowers or something more of the things that you say that you wouldn't wear so give that a chance so i thought to myself okay i'm going shopping anyway let me see what i can do so after i hit up the mall i said you know what let me go to target and see if they have anything left from the christopher john rogers uh for target collection and imagine my surprise when i actually got there and discovered that they had several dresses still left hopefully in my size, I haven't tried them on yet. So I gathered up these dresses, super excited to come home and try them on. If I'm being very honest, I did not have a huge interest in this collection um, because as I mentioned before, I'm not really into patterns, prints, flowers, or especially if all of those things are combined. So I didn't pay a lot of attention to the collection, but I did notice during this week that there's been a lot of buzz about it on Instagram. So when Angela ch made this challenge, when she challenged me to step, step, step out of my comfort zone, I was like, okay, I'm going all in, I'm going for it. And I picked up seven pieces. You'll see six of them here on this rack. So now the question may be, Kawana, you said you picked up seven dresses. Why are there only six of them on this rack? That would bring me to this particular look. Last night when I was hanging up these dresses, kind of, you know, sorting them out to prepare to do the video for this morning, I started counting the items and realized that one was missing. So, woe is me. No, I woke up this morning and said, let me get to Target as soon as they open. I was there last night as they were closing. Let me get there this morning and find out if someone returned the dress or if I left it behind, whatever the story is. And lo and behold, the dress wasn't there. But I wasn't gonna wake up this morning and get super dressed up, so I threw on some leggings and this um, crop top kind of thing that I'm wearing backwards with these really cool sleeves just to run out this morning. I left out the house pretty early. I'm back now, and so since I wanted to jump right in and do this video, that is why I'm dressed like that. Is that a long enough story? Geez, seems kind of long to me because I wanna get into these dresses. But first I'm gonna start with the dress that wasn't there when I went back this morning. I'm going to insert a picture of it, probably over here or over here. Um, I do like this dress. I think that of the collection, this one is somewhat more me or the most me. Well, no, more me than some of the other dresses that I'm going to try on. Um, you know, it has this, this vertical stripe that, is it vertical? No horizontal yes horizontal stripe going up and down which usually makes a person look taller I can't say that I need more length because I'm already you know five foot ten and a half maybe five eleven but I just thought that the way it had this kind of high waistband would really you know flatter my figure I actually think it was an umpire waist meaning even higher up than the than the natural waist but anyway when I went back the dress wasn't there it is available at other stores so you may see it later on down the road if I decide to go out and get it. So let's get into the first dress. And I'm going to give you all my honest, honest, honest reaction to these dresses. My face don't lie, I don't lie, I can't lie. You're gonna get it as it's coming. Let's start with this one. I don't even know how to describe this. Um, it's a long shirt dress, has two pockets in the front, buttons all the way down, definitely a shirt dress. Why I wouldn't go for something like this is because of the various color stripes. I like these colors individually. Maybe I would do two colors, but certainly not all of these colors together. 
Let's try it on and see how it looks. Okay, so this is the first dress. I would say that it is very hospital gown to me in terms of the way that it feels. It's quite stiff. I don't want to say in a bad way. I guess it's a good quality. I don't know. I'm not a big uh, cotton fanatic, but you can certainly you can certainly hear it. I don't know if you can, but I, I guess if you can hear a fabric, then that means that it's a good fabric, a decent fabric. I think that the fit of this for me, it just does nothing for me. It does absolutely nothing for me. Um, if I go ahead and tie the belt, which is also in that same vertical stripe, I mean, it's okay. I picked this up in a size four, usually I'm a size six. You would see that it, it does fit. I, I would even venture to say it might be a little big. Maybe it's a little big for, for my taste, maybe for me. Um, I did unbutton it some up here. Uh, I think these pockets are kind of cool. I like the fact that the pockets are horizontal um, while the stripes on the actual dress are vertical. Um, you can unbutton some of the buttons, I guess, and give some more leg if you feel like I mean, if you really feel like that's gonna amp it up and like give this life, you can certainly do that. I don't really know how much life is given if I'm being honest. Uh, you know what, let's be very, very interactive in this video. Please pause the video right now, go down into the comments and let me know, do you think I should keep or return this dress? Into the comments right now, pause the video, keep or return. As you see, this dress has quite a few colors in it, so I could wear it with these pink sneakers or these yellow mules for a different sort of look. I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see. I mean, that kind of just makes me taller, um, as it would, because it's a heel. I'm still not necessarily I'm still not necessarily feeling, oh, wait a minute, hmm. I mean, it's different, but not earth shattering. I'm going to get a picture because my whole frame is not in the shot right now for you to be able to see exactly how it looks with the heels, but I'll try that. Yeah, maybe that'll make a difference, but I think that this was 45 or $50, I'm not sure, but I don't think it's a keeper. Okay, the next one I'm going to try on is this shorter little flirty number that has this almost chevron pattern in black, yellow, and some lighter green. I'm not sure how well the colors are really showing up. It has this zip detail here on the side that helps to cinch this in. Again, it's like in a chiffonny material you can actually see the slip under where the where the slip stops. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen or not. Um, I have no idea. I thought that the slip should be the same length as the dress. It does have, I guess, this ruffle effect up here just to give it a little bit more ruffle. It does have some movement. Yeah, it's moving, it's moving. But um, I don't know. I think I think the color is really vibrant and pretty. I'm not against the color. I don't know what these longer straps are that are here in the back. I guess there's something that you can do with that. Um. Yeah, I, I feel like this is one of the ones that are more me in terms of if I would actually wear something or even say, oh, that's cute, let me try it. But again, I don't feel like it's doing anything for me. I do like this stitch detail up here, how you know it separates the waist from the rest of the body, kind of, I don't know, gives it more body. I, I don't, I, please pause, go down in the comments, ignore the black bra, for goodness sakes, let's just pretend that it's not here, pretend that I was wearing a strapless, and let me know what say you about this one. Keep or return? Keep or return? I could try it with the yellow shoe. 
I have an actual another pair, another yellow shoe that I'm not going to grab right now, or even these white sandals, but I feel like because it has this green that I, oh, maybe if I stand back here, you see this green, I think the yellow, wearing a yellow shoe would really bring out the green. It could be really cute. I just feel like it could be really cute on somebody else, but this ain't the cuteness that I'm trying to rock with. Let me know. Oh, BTW, this is a size six. I usually am a size six. The first dress that I tried on was a size four. So I would say that maybe the first one runs big and this one is quite likely true to size. But for my height, as I mentioned, I'm pretty tall. I do think that this is a good length. I don't like the fact that the slip is so short. Let me know if it's supposed to be like that. Next up, I, I mean, I don't know if you can see that like my bun is falling. This was super difficult to get into. I mean, it doesn't have a zipper or any buttons or anything. So for me, it was a challenge. Again, it's in that cotton material, similar to the first one that I tried on. Oh my goodness though, can I just say, I love this pop of yellow. I love the yellow. The yellow is like, it's just, it's just making the whole dress pop. So I do like the colors in this dress. I like the sleeves in this dress. I usually only would do two colors together, but I like this yellow, green with the blue. I think it all transitions very nicely. Um, this dress is quite weighty. It gets, because it's so voluminous here at the bottom with this ruffle detail, I think it makes it heavier. So I kind of feel like it's dragging me down. You know, when you first get out of the pool or the ocean and you're wearing a bathing suit, you just feel heavier. That's kind of how I feel. Like I feel heavy and okay, I'm going to stop right there. Go down in the comments, comment, let me know, keep or return dress number four. Keep or return, keep or return. <sighs> okay, so my thoughts are this dress is in so many ways beautiful. I can't even lie about it. I ain't gonna try to fake the funk, but it's not for me. This is, this is not a Mrs. Coy dress. I get the femininity of it. I like the things that I can do in it. I love the colors, as I said. Um, it seems to be an amazing quality. This is in a size six, which would be my true to size. I think I could not have gone smaller because it would not have fit over my head, which is amazing to me. I legit worked up a sweat putting this dress on. But um, look at those colors. Look at this. I mean, this these colors, are stunning. Imagine this in the shorter dress that I tried on, I think number two. That would be so dope, but this ain't me. Nah, this is not me. Let's do a strappy shoe, give it some height. Can you see the shoe? I, I mean, what, what is this? Am I like a rockette? Are the hills alive with the sound of music? I feel like I should be yodeling or something. I get it. Huh. It's not me. It's, it's just, just isn't me. But the sleeves though. Okay, so I got myself out of the previous dress. I had to grab myself a water and re-pin up my hair because that was really a hassle. That was a difficult, extremely difficult dress. I mean, it's just like, my gosh, I'm I had to like even, you know, blot a little bit because I really worked up a sweat. Okay, so this one I saw on another blogger, like, um, well, on a blogger or influencer last week and she didn't really care for it. Um, I kind of thought that of everything she tried on, this one was the most me. And I might actually still feel that way. I think that I recounted also, I believe this is dress number four. I think initially I counted the dress that I didn't actually get. Anyway, go on ahead in the comments, pause the video and let me know what you think of this one. Is this one more me as I thought it would be? Okay, so here we go with this and what I like. 
I like this the detail. I like that it shows just the right amount of decolletage. I like the split in the middle. I wouldn't typically care for that, but I like it because of the way it points right here and lines up perfectly with the points on the chevron. I like the black and white. I mean, yeah, I, I think that, I don't know if I love it, but I would say that this one would most be me in a perfect world because it is the spring and summer. I would have loved if this had been done in like the green color or yellow or in a different color, just made it more summery. But I like this, a blazer can be added. This one, interestingly enough, is a size eight because when I first grabbed it, I thought I would need to size up in it so that it wouldn't be too tight. And um, I don't know now, maybe maybe a six would have been better. Wait, I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. But this doesn't have any zippers or any way to get into it, um, any buttons or anything. But I think that because of the more chiffon-like material, it's actually double lined. You have um, the slip under here and then this very sheer fabric that goes over it. Um, I, don't, I don't know if it's groundbreaking. I don't know if it's fabulous, but I feel like it's a nice lightweight material. It can be comfortable. I don't remember the price of it, but I know it had to be 45 or above. So I don't know if it's worth that price. I don't know. Let me try to style it up. Let's see. Would I do the Wang slingbacks to kind of really jazz it up and edge it up a little bit? Or would I do a color pop because it is the spring? Let's say I did my season's favorite color. Let's say I did the yellow. I defy somebody because I know someone's gonna do it. Someone's gonna say, well, Kawana or Mrs. Koi style, isn't that very bumblebee with a yellow shoe? But I just thought yellow because again, it is my color of the season. So I thought that could be pretty dope. Um, just to give a pop of color, maybe if I had a yellow bag. Uh, some sunglasses because this is how I pull up to the barbecues or walking down the street in the city. I don't know. I just, I just honestly, I don't know. Um, and I don't have a yellow blazer, not that I would need to be matchy-matchy. I think a white just wouldn't do what I wanted it to do. And I wouldn't wear a black this season, but I would if I can find a blazer in a color, do like that matchy-matchy thing and throw a blazer on with the shoes to complement it. If I keep it, let me know. Keep or return. Next, super way out of my comfort zone. Do you hear this underneath? This has this exaggerated, I don't know, Kremlin. Is it called Kremlin or Kremlin detail under that really just exaggerates, I guess, the hip area? Makes me think very 1920s. And I feel way, I mean way, like on another continent out of my comfort zone for this one. I mean way 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 let's let's try it on let's see this one is a size six which is supposed to be my true to size we'll see what this does for me i mean i i can't i can't <laughs> i really and truly i just i'm still buttoning yeah i i <laughs> all right give me give me a moment just give me a moment I mean, I, okay, no pockets, even though my hips feel all the way out to here. I, I, okay, I'm gonna just keep it very, very honest with you. This is something I definitely purchased because I was challenged to. I don't like all of these colors in a checked pattern. Not at all, it's not my thing. All of the colors together, can be really beautiful. I like the way that they play off of one another. Although I did say before that I'm kind of a two color person, even though I liked this one that had all of the four colors in it, this could be nice in the right pattern. This sort of tablecloth or picnic napkin pattern, it just ain't the move for me. And I don't understand whatsoever why. The Kremlin is in here. I don't get that. 
I just don't understand this. Please pause the video, go down into the comments and let me know. Do you understand it? Are you kidding? Wait a minute. Okay, no, 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 go ahead to the comments, let me know. Have you come back? Guess what? There's a belt. There's more of this pattern on a belt. What does that do? It cinches very, I don't know, cake topper kind of silhouette. I guess it's because people tell me I have hips and so I kind of do see them sometime when I shimmy around. But I just, I think I would, <laughs> do you see how poofy I look? I'm like all puffed up when I cinch the belt. O-M-G. I'm feeling very animated, exaggerated, but not editorial, almost clownish. And I don't like the vibe it's giving me. I couldn't take myself seriously at all in this. What I will say is I love the fit of the top. I love this up here. I love the way it hugs my body. There's no arm cleavage going on. This is an amazing fit. I think beautiful detail and great quality. But again, it's not for me. I like the thick straps, the fact that it can cover my bra. I don't know, I can't vibe with it. Let me try to zhuzh it up a little bit and see if I can make it a vibe. Let me see. Yeah, for me it's very Handmaid's Tale, I guess. I don't know really if that's the era. Maybe even it's that era of this show that everybody's watching. What's the name of it? Bridgerton? I don't know, I just imagine myself like holding a tree and then someone behind me like tying and really cinching in and like corsetting my waist, which could be dope. I don't know about the Kremlin. And I just popped in on Mr. Coy who looked at me like with a startled face and said that I look like a bounce house. So anything that makes me look like a house when I'm trying to look maybe like if anything, a brick house, mighty, mighty, letting it all hang out. But a bounce house, that ain't me. But let me see if I can zhuzh it up. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna add a sports bra. You see that green and you see how it's pulling out some green. So then I'm gonna unbutton those top buttons, which I thought was really flattering. So I think I'm taking away from it in the actual part of the dress that I liked. And then I cinch it again, but I feel like it's just making it more youthful and fun and just more sort of, more sort of me. I. Or am I a person that just has to show some skin? See, I don't think so. I, or do I fold it over like this? Maybe, maybe, the, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, Lord. I'm a house, a bounce house, for real, for real. I'm going to add these really cute perplex shoes in blue to kind of play off of the blue here in the dress. I unbuttoned a few of the buttons and I still left on the green sports bra. Insert a picture over here. Remember, this is true to size, size six. On the right person, this is dope. It's not me, not me at all. Last dress, somewhat I would say in between my comfort zone. I actually turned down the light so you could kind of better see the detail of this. It has this beautiful, almost iridescent kind of pop to this dress. This this is, oh my goodness, the, the color and material of this is just so beautiful. And I think this this is just so unexpected. This, this, this kind of sheen, this iridescent sheen and shine, I feel is so unexpected in this silhouette. I think the details of this dress are fantastic. Let's see how it looks on me. Let's see, but look at these sleeves. I'm excited to put this on because yeah, this is right in between my comfort zone, right in between. I'm floating like the sun. I'm floating like the sun. I don't even know. Let me zip it up over here on the side. Done. This big, giant, almost cumber, what do you call it? Cumber, what's that thing that the men wear that are like a, with a tuxedo, a, a cummerbund? Is it a cummerbund? 
Why would a man be wearing a bun? Why is it a bun? Is it a cummerbund? Anyway, I'm feeling like that is the thickness. That is the thickness of this particular thing. I heard something pop. I hope that a strap didn't a little. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, but here it is. Let me tie that. Let me cinch the waist. I feel pretty. I, I mean, I, I mean, how do you not just feel bright and happy with the color yellow? I mean, I think the sleeves are an entire movement. I mean, these sleeves are elevating me and giving me like some flow. This dress is in a medium. I don't really know what's going on with me. I feel like, I feel like, and I could be wrong, but I feel like I may have done better in a small. I don't know why. I don't know if this length right below the knee is flattering or if it should be here. What do they call that, like T length? See, I think that could be a complete vibe for me if it was a little bit shorter. I, yeah, and then like with a heel, and then this is just so unexpected with the, again, that, that iridescence. Imagine stepping into a night party. Oh, there, you caught that? Did you catch the color? Catch that color. A party at night, maybe in the Hamptons, and you just show up with something that everybody is wearing like just, I mean, yellow is yellow and yellow is beautiful. But when it has this iridescence, my God, like how perfectly beautiful could that be? Now, this particular dress is again, heavy. Have you already done it? Am I really tired and like way behind right now in the mix? Go down to the comments, keep or return, but also bear in mind that this is the last one. Keep or return. I couldn't button it up here. Yeah, because I'm the only person home. Well, actually, no, I'm not the only person home, but I'm the only person that's awake and trying on dresses and willing to button things. My husband was only willing to comment that I look like a bounce house when I went to get the sports bra. Let me take a swig of water. <laughs> so, I don't know, is that too much? Is that taking it to a whole different futuristic kind of yellow, bright like the sun kind of space? Am I gonna wear a smaller sunglass? What am I gonna do? But does this need to be, I don't necessarily think in terms of the complete sizing that I need to go with a size small instead of a medium but I certainly prefer it not much above the knee, but just at least a little above the knee. Otherwise, I, I don't really care for that length. Again, this man with these details, Christopher John Rogers, my goodness. Another lining, but the lining is super substantial because, oh no, I think there's some crinoline up here too. There's something up here that I feel, but you can't access it. Oh no, oh, sniss is that. My phone would actually fit in my pocket, so I would be doing like everything out there at this barbecue that I could potentially wear this to. Okay, yeah, the, the, the details on this, the quality of this dress, the unexpected iridescence of this dress, the billowy sleeves, the silhouette, the texture, the fact that it is so heavily lined to be able to ensure that you maintain this shape and style of this. I mean, it does feel kind of bunchy. Do you hear it? Yeah, but that's the crinoline on the top. But this crinoline on this one is necessary. It is very necessary. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this up here. Just, uh, this is a movement. Do I need to do a different shoe? Do I need to do a contrasting shoe? Do I need to do something different? Or is this dress gonna take center stage? Boom, pow, shine. So I went with a simple white strappy sandal. I, <laughs> I feel like money, but like, but like maybe Fifth Avenue, Upper East Side, something like that, very, very, Manhattan sort of socialite but the one that they, that's not trying to blend in, the one that's trying to pop, step, and stand out, driving my drop top to the Hamptons, not taking the Hamptons jitney, 
but getting there with you know the top down and showing up to one of those Hampton soirees in something like this. That is how I feel. Do I keep this and get it hemmed? Sound off in the comments, let me know. All right, so if you all have stayed to the end, I mean, I am tired, I'm wiped out. I really enjoyed my time with you all trying on these dresses by Christopher John Rogers for Target. I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. Um, there were some possible hits. I mean, not completely out of the park, but some possible hits. Please let me know in the comments. Again, what you think. I hope that this was interactive and that you all enjoyed it. What's so strange is that I can't even say what I usually say at the end of every video, that everything that you saw me wear and everything that you saw me try on and talk about is me to a C, because not all of this is me to a C. This is someone else completely something else, but I will not, not, not at all take away from the quality of these items. They are absolutely fantastic. I want to thank my homegirl, Angela, for really pushing me out of my comfort zone to try these things on. Otherwise, I would not have. And I believe that I am going to try to get my hands on this dress over here. I'm going to go ahead and insert it again because that could have been a vibe. Like, I kind of like the more silky-like materials of the items that I tried on. But, you know, let me know which one was your favorite. I'm going to be going through the comments to see which ones were keeps or returns. And you see, I kept this one on, so I must be loving it. But I have to say, because of the detail and quality of these items, most of them that have all of this additional detail are quite, quite heavy. Oh, by the way, I would wear something beautiful like this with like some pearls or something. I'm really going to feminize the heck out of this if we all agree that I should keep it and have it hemmed. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. And very, very importantly, let's grow this community here on Mrs. Koi Style by telling a friend and tell that friend to tell another friend. And even if you're even not that friendly, I don't care. Watch Mrs. Koi Style's video. Let's go for that, all right? Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.